Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint, ombre, and fully glitter dip acrylic tumblers. So let's get to it. I'm going to be using 16 ounce acrylic skinny tumblers that I purchased from Hog. These acrylic tumblers are double walled. They are also BPA free and they come with a straw and a screw top lid. Now I purchased these through the Stainless Depot and they were only like $3 and some change. So these are extremely budget friendly. This is a great way to maybe put a little extra cash in your pocket and still make something pretty. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place something to hold my tumbler. I'm using a football. You just want to be careful because you don't want to crack the acrylic or you don't want to crack the seal that is around the top. I'll be doing this with all three of the tumblers and I'll also take a piece of painter's tape and block off the top. I like more of a clean edge at the top so that's why I will be doing this. I'm going to mix together one pump each of my A and B from Alumalite Amazing Clear Cast which is two ounces all together of epoxy. And as you see here, I'm gonna stir it and I'm gonna kind of show you, see how it looks foggy? Now I just like to stir it until it is crystal clear. This is how I always mix my epoxy. I just keep going until I can see through the bottom and then I know I'm ready to move on to the next step. The first tumbler we will be doing is the ombre. So I'm just going to apply that epoxy completely around my tumbler. Make sure you hit that bottom really well because there's it dents in a little bit at the bottom. So you wanna make sure that you get that epoxy in there really well. As you can see, I even come up and a little bit onto the tape just so that way I know it's fully covered. Now, because this will be clear at the top and have the glitter on the bottom, after I'm done putting my epoxy on, I twirl it around in my hand a couple times until everything is fully settled and there's no streaks. And then I'm gonna take my red, this is my custom red by the way. I'm gonna take my red and I'm going to fully cover that bottom. And then I'm just gonna lightly just bring that red up as far as I want to. Now, the further up you go with these chunky ombres, the further back you wanna hold your hand. I even kind of take any kind of residual glitter that's on my fingers after I finally have the ombre and just kind of bring it all the way up to the top just so that way some of those specks come all the way up. And also holding it at that 45 degree angle with the bottom up really helps out with that ombre. Before I place it on my turner, I take a big lighter and I just kind of go over any bubbles that might be in that clear epoxy. We will move on to the second look, which is a full two-tone glitter ombre look. Just like the first tumbler, I applied my epoxy, let it settle a little bit, and now we are ready to glitter that tumbler. I'm going to use my Gilded Rose mix that some of you have purchased from me. And I'm gonna do almost like we did with the red. I'm gonna hold it at that 45 degree angle. I'm gonna go up the tumbler about halfway with that glitter. I'm going to move on to my personal gold mix, which will be available soon for anybody, but you can use any gold or rose gold you have on hand. And I'm just going to keep holding it up at that 45 degree angle, start where I left off with that rose gold, and just keep making my way down. Like I said a second ago, you can use any color combination you'd like. These are just suggestions or ideas. Wherever you take this from here is completely up to you. There is no right or wrong. Now that my gold is all done, I'm going to flip that bottom down and I'm gonna take that gold and just blend it a little bit more into the rose gold. You are left with a two-tone chunky ombre on your acrylic tumbler. Now my painted tumbler was a little bit different, so I went ahead and I just did my glittered ones first. So that's kind of why I'm showing you these first. We'll move on to the painted one in a minute. But I set a timer because I wanna come back through and remember to pull that tape off. I set my timer for about 45 minutes to remind myself to pull that tape back so we didn't accidentally glue it down onto this acrylic tumbler. <laughs> my timer let me know it was time to peel back this tape. So I just kind of let the machine pull it for me and I pulled that tape back and it left a nice crisp line. 
I'm going to let these continue to cure overnight on my turner and then they will be ready to add another coat of epoxy. In the meantime, we'll move on to our painted acrylic tumbler. As with the other two tumblers, I have taped off the top and I'm going to use a primer white. To ensure I have a nice smooth finish, I like to hold my can back about 12 inches and then I just make sure that I, I swipe it around back and forth, up and down, just making sure I fully cover the tumbler. After my primer has fully dried, it probably took about 10 minutes, 10-15 minutes and it was fully dry. I came back through with a coral that I had purchased from Rust-Oleum and I'm just going to do the same thing, hold the can back about 12 inches and just fully cover that tumbler. I'm going to let that coral fully dry, which is probably another 10-20 minutes and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Now that my base coat is fully dried, I'm going to be actually adding a crackle base to this. So I purchased art mines through Michael's Craft Store. I have my crackle glaze and I have my chalk paint, which is porcelain. I'm going to take my glaze and I'm gonna give a nice thick coat of this glaze onto my tumbler. The thicker the coat, the more crackle you will have. Now this is just what I use. I know there's lots of other different ways to do crackle looks, so whatever way you like to do, just do it that way. This is just how I do it. You want to make sure that that glaze is fully dry. You can't move on to the next step if it's wet. So I kind of let it sit for about an hour. It takes, it, it takes a while to dry. Or sometimes, if you're impatient, like I, I am sometimes, I take a blow dryer and then I just kind of help it dry that way. Now that that glaze is fully dried, I also like to take my fingers, especially in that dent on the bottom, just to make sure nothing is wet. I'm going to take my chalk paint and I'm going to apply that. The key to applying this chalk paint to, to achieve that crackle look is you only want to do one swipe. You don't want to repeatedly go over any spots you already laid down the paint because that will ruin the crackle. You just want to do a swipe and move on to the next section. It doesn't have to be perfect. The whole reason why you're doing a crackle look is because you want it to look rustic. So you just want to apply that, come through, touch anything up, and then I like to come through and remove that tape right away as it's drying. I'm gonna let this crackle paint probably cure for at least an hour or two, if not longer than that, and then we will be ready to move on to applying epoxy. So I have all three of my tumblers here. My crackle paint still needs its epoxy, so we're, we'll be moving on to that in a minute. My two-tone ombre is ready to roll. It came out really nice. It's ready for its another coat of epoxy. And this is also ready for another coat of epoxy. I'm just going to quickly take my painter's tape and retape along the edge of the top of those acrylic tumblers. Now that those are all taped off, I'm going to take my semi-gloss spray clear coat. I'm gonna give the rose gold and gold and my painted one a nice coat of clear coat. Again, I will take equal parts of my epoxy and I will mix it until it is nice and clear. Now this time around, I will show you the lighter that I use to kind of pop any bubbles. I'm just going to take one swipe around the, the top, flip it, and do another stripe of my epoxy, and then we will pop all those bubbles and put it on our turner. Now, not a lot of us have a fancy torch, so for those of us who don't have fancy torches, most of us might have a basic lighter sitting around our house. So I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to go through and swipe all those bubbles away off my tumbler. Obviously, you're dealing with acrylic, so you just, you don't want to get that lighter too close just and quickly move back and forth. Now I will put that second coat of epoxy on my rose gold and gold and then we'll move on to putting the glitter on the bottom of our painted acrylic tumbler. The glitter that I like to use for the bottom of these tumblers is called Bell Chase and you can purchase that from Mr. Nola's Glitter. Now again, a swipe on the front, a swipe on the back and then we will put that glitter on the bottom. 
I don't like to put the glitter on the bottom of these tumblers too far up. So I'm gonna keep it probably just about an inch, maybe even two inches up that tumbler. Again, I'm just holding it at a 45 degree angle. And then any residual glitter that I may have on my fingers after I'm done applying, I just kind of bring it up the rest of that tumbler just to kind of give it more of that, that faded look. After that is done, I'm just gonna come back through and tap down with my finger any of those chunky glitters that might be hanging out over the edge. Now, don't forget to set that timer for 45 minutes. Come back through, pull the tape, let them continue spinning on your turner overnight, and then we will be ready to finish up our painted acrylic tumbler. Now that everything has been dried or cured overnight, they are ready to have their personalization put on. The only personalization I'm putting on today are these boots onto the crackle paint, but you can add any names or quotes you'd like onto the other ones, and then we'll be ready to move on to the last coat of epoxy. I'm going to let my water slide dry probably for about 15 to 30 minutes, and then it will be ready to have the tape reapplied to the top. A quick coat of clear spray sprayed onto it and then we'll be ready for its last coat of epoxy. Everything has cured overnight. I'm just gonna continue to let these cure, probably for another day or two, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly how they looked inside and how they look with their caps on. So I'm just gonna kinda do that real quick. Like I said earlier, you can decorate these tumblers any way you'd like, whether it's paint, ombre, fully glitter dipped, it's completely up to you how you'd like to decorate any acrylic tumbler that you come across. Whether you are trying to find a way to kind of cut back on your budget in your shop or your customer really doesn't have a lot of money to spend, I hope that these ideas give you inspiration for your next acrylic tumbler project. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more tutorials I have coming your way and I will see you guys next time.